friends. I want to see if you can guess what letter we're going to do today. Um, you might remember a little bit from the morning meeting, but here's our capital and there's our lowercase. But let's see what I have in my magic jar here. I have an elephant. And do you know what this is? What bird this is? Hmm, that's an eagle. Make sure you can see that really close. Yeah, this is an egg. Mm hmm. Can anyone guess what this is? Gotta write a letter to myself. Mm hmm. It's an envelope. What's this? That's right. If we ever make a mistake or anything, that's an eraser or have an accident on our paper. Oh, and this is one of Mrs. Fail's favorite vegetables. It's purple. And it has a green top. That's right, it's an eggplant. So, if you haven't guessed by now, what's the letter that we're featuring today? <laughs> That's right, it's the letter E. Here's the capital letter E. And the lowercase e. So that's the letter that we're going to be featuring. We're just gonna we're gonna write that in just a minute. But first, we're going to read a book about the letter e. And look, there goes our friend on the front cover. Letter e. Here's our front cover and our our back cover, and then what's this here? That's right, it's the spine that holds it all together. This is a nonfiction alphabet book, which means that it's about real things. So you aren't gonna see the animals talking in this. E is for elephant. There's our friend, Mr. Elephant. Elephants are enormous. <laughs> enormous what do you think mrs phil means when she says enormous it means they're very very big that's right they're very very big elephants are the most enormous animals that walk on earth elephants have enormous ears their hearing is excellent Look at those big giant ears there. Giant is another word for enormous, which is another word for big. Elephants have enormous trunks. They use their trunks to eat. Can you pretend you have an elephant trunk? Do, 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 do. <laughs> See, there's the elephant trunk. Elephants have enormous fun playing with each other. Yeah, elephants play with each other too. It is easy to love elephants. They are exciting. Look at our E words in bold. Bold means they're gonna be a little bit darker than the other words. And they're always, our books are always gonna have dark words for E, for our letters that we're doing, okay? So that's called bold. The end. Oh, elephants are enormous. Wonderful. So, boys and girls, if you have a piece of paper, you have a whiteboard or a chalkboard or even your fingers, you can write along with Mrs. Fail for the letter E. Oh, let me make sure that we can see it. Move it back a little bit. Move it back, 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 back. First, I'm going to draw a line down. Then, two across. 
three across and four across. Okay, you ready? Down one, over two, over three, and over four. Down one, over two, over three, and over four. Let's do one more time. Down one, over two, uh, that one's a little bit crooked, that's okay. Over two, over three, and over four. That's our capital E. Down one, over two, over three, and over four. And now my dear ones, let's draw the lowercase e. A line across and around. Woo, that went fast, right? Across and up and around. And it's okay, we're just learning. Across, up and around. I'm doing it bigger so you can see. Over, across, up and around. That's our lowercase letter E. What were some of the words that we had? Whew, that's a big word, but let's do it anyway. Because we can. Down one, over two, over three, over four, E, L, lowercase e, P, H, A, N, T. <laughs> Woo! Will she ever stop writing letters? That's how you write elephant. And boys and girls, it's okay for us to learn long words. It's okay for us to spell them out because we're all learning. It's really cool. Look at the way elephant looks. At least we can look at the shape of things, right? Good. What's another word that we learned? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they are so yummy to eat. Lowercase e, g, and g. That spells egg. Does anyone know a name that begins with e? I know a name that begins with e, and she's in our class, my dear ones. Down one, over two, over three, over four, E, lowercase a, I, R, E, S. Eris begins with E. Isn't that wonderful, boys and girls? Look, it's our friend, Mr. Whale. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Whale. Oh, it's one of our Wheatley whales. I love him. He's so nice and soft. What is it, Mr. Whale? Oh, that's right. I can't forget about our parents, our mommies, our daddies, our titis, our pop pops, our mom moms, abuelas, litas, whoever's home loving you and helping you learn. Even your cousins. I can't forget about you. So, Mrs. Spale has our parent corner, our parent caregiver corner. Are you ready? And it's another quote from, of course, Mr. Rogers. Often when you think you're at the end of something, you're at the beginning of something else. I've felt that many times. My hope for all of us is that the miles we go before we sleep will be filled with all the feelings that come from deep caring, delight, sadness, joy, wisdom, and that all the endings in our lives, we will be able to see the new beginnings. Ladies and gentlemen, families, I know that there have been so many changes in the last couple of months. And it may seem like the ending of one way of life in many ways, but it's also the beginning of something new. For instance, I got to learn so many new things to help my students and 
lots of new technology um, so that I can love you even though we're far apart. So parents, caregivers, I just want to encourage you that when you see the ending of something, just know it's a brand new beginning because that right there, that beating in your chest, that's purpose. And you are purpose for a brand new day. All right, Mrs. Spell loves you. I'll see you later. Bye.